that levee was fixed up there, that water would not be there. After several seasons of flooded farmland and lost crops, David Willis is calling it quits. Farmers from as close as Missouri and as far away as South Carolina came to Miller City. Bidding on equipment that used to work these fields, now on the auction block. From the auctioneer trailer, Willis watched as farm equipment used by himself and the generations before him sold one by one. All this equipment has sentimental value to me. The, I've worked on it all my life and been around it and it's took 75 to 100 years to accumulate to where we're at today and now in an hour and a half it's gone. Willis says with each tractor that came up for bid, memories flooded his mind. It probably hurt me the most because, like I say, I'm the only one who ever drove this piece of equipment. You know, it, it was kind of my baby, I guess what you'd say. In January of 2016, the Len Small levee breached, flooding most of his thousand acres. Since then, with every heavy rain, his fields are either flooded or blocked off by high waters, making it nearly impossible to plant or harvest. Night, I wake up at two o'clock in the morning and just sit and think about it till three, just worrying about whether it was going to rain or what the river was going to do. David's wife, Debbie, says since he's made the decision to auction off the equipment and give up farming, he slept through the night, something he hasn't done in a while. Is that a good air conditioner? Yes. yes. She says while it's a heartbreaking day for the family, they'll drive away feeling relieved. It's going to be strange seeing it go to other people, but yet it's a relief knowing that he won't have that stress on him anymore. Willis says he's felt sad for months leading up to this day, but he woke up and chose to see the bright side, wishing the farmers hauling away their new tractors good luck. He says he'll always miss being in the fields, but after 45 years, he and his wife can get excited about a change of pace. I've worked all my life, and now it's just time to enjoy it. In Alexander County, Ronnie LaForge, News 3.